Hey y'all, I know it's been almost a year since uh, my last video, or at least half a year or so now. Recently I've been developing some mods for the game U-Boat, which have really uh, re-sparked my interest in U-Boats all over again. So I am back to U-Boat Sim, and I spent some time making some changes. As you can see, I'm starting to uh, bring in more piping and more components in the front of the diesel engine room. They don't yet have any of the uh, textures on them, but you can see I'm still working really hard. I want to finish the diesel engine room before I move on to any other room. Uh, second, the telegraph is now somewhat operational, so it actually works. It'll show you the requested gear and you could signal to the front and the conning tower exactly uh, what speed you're currently on and allow you to switch between diesel and electric and so on. Um, we also have working reverse. So to reverse the engines, you had to stop them and then you basically uh, start them in reverse gear, which means the shafts would actually be turning opposite direction. They had no gearbox. It was a direct connection uh, to the propellers via the shafts. So once we turn on the, um, the clutches here, you can see we've got our RPM indicator working. And let's go ahead and put this in operational mode. And um, let's go ahead and increase the throttle. You can see the RPMs. We could see the air, um, starting air, manifold, the flask. For now, I don't have uh, the air system heating and recharging areas because those are not simulated yet. But you can see um, all those are being at least simulated. Not, not the compressor, but the air flask themselves. And that's all good. And then on the outside of the ship, you'll see that the propellers are now properly connected and are generating thrust, whether it's forward or reverse thrust. So the, the ship, once again, is starting to behave as it should. So I am looking forward to working on this again. Um, I think in the near future I'm going to make a lot of updates to it using the latest version of Unity, making sure everything is well coded and scripted. And hopefully we could have the entire rear end of the boat ready to go real soon. There's going to be a lot of work back here to allow you to engage and disengage the electric engines, put them in either buffer mode or recharge mode, and you know all the other things that you can do with a deep simulation. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy this, and I'll see you soon.